Vital essence governs growth, development, and aging. Kidney yang boosts bone growth. And the yin nourishes the bones. The period of maximum growth in a child's life is comparable to the season of summer, where all trees show upward growth. The bones, just like the trees, need heat in order to grow. So kidney yang provides the heat or yang for this bone growth. Kidney yang is at its highest during puberty, the time the reproductive system becomes active. This is also the time in which a child grows rapidly. There could be problems if a child grows too fast within too short a time or if growth is retarded. If a child grows too fast during any particular period, their young is very high during this time. And in addition, they do not have enough yin to nourish this abnormal rapid growth. Therefore, the child develops weak bones and joints, especially in the back and knees. Kidney yang deficiency also causes stunted growth or a chondroplasia though the bones are not thin or underdeveloped. Both these problems can be treated effectively, provided they are treated early and over a longer period. Now, let's talk about rapid growth with poor development of bones and joints. So this is what we call hyperactive yang in the kidneys. Okay, so uh, treatment, uh, we use kidney four, which is a luo point. It tonifies yin and sedates the yang. Ren 3, which is the front move of the bladder. Spleen 6, meeting point of the three yin meridians of the leg, increases the yin. Bladder 40, earth point, which is the grandmother point of the bladder, which tonifies the yin. Drink more water, eat more raw vegetables and fruit to cool the body. Changing eating habits is essential in order to cool the body. Baths and swimming also increases the water yin. Treatment should be given once a week, 10 to 12 sessions in a course of treatment, then stop and follow up after one month. If necessary, the treatment can be restarted and given once fortnightly for another 12 sessions.